And we are live. Time to retie the Gitana uh, fly from the Hearn. Uh, most likely it's going to be a two part uh, live session, but we're going to start today with the whole body. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. So uh, I've been looking forward to this. So let's begin. <coughs> I started. Sorry about that. I got, still got a, a bit of a cold. Um, I attached extra small silver tinsel, so I'm just going to add a few wraps of that. And the whole weekend is gone already. I did read a, a really nice joke this morning. Do you guys know what's quicker than the lightning? The weekend. <laughs> I love it. So I'm just tying in this uh, oval silver tinsel. Just securing it. Somewhere from that point, I'm going to have red silk. Hi, Monty. How are you? Hi, buddy. So, red silk, let's add that one. Yes, I'm gonna tie this one pretty slow, just to make sure I don't re need to retie it again. Uh, the last one I wasn't happy with. Uh, the tip it on the side started to uh, turn, etc. That's never nice. I did reshape the parrot feathers a bit because I want to have a lower profile this time when tying it in. So there we go. Yeah, I can, can save the silk for another fly. So just building up a bit foundation with the thread. There we go. So the pattern states two toppings, young elk cook and kingfisher. So I'm gonna do two toppings. at least see how it looks <clears throat> let's see if i can tie them in at the same time no it's okay had to try so i go with this one first Oh my God, I forgot to change the camera angle. <laughs> Sorry guys, there we are. Hi Robert, how are you? I was so into my tying, so I just started uh, without changing uh, the camera angle. Uh, sorry for, for that. 
So I think I'm gonna. This one is a bit long though. I'm gonna reshape it a bit. One second. I think I'm just gonna put it next to it. Let me see how that turns out. There we go, so two tails. I'm satisfied with that, so I'm gonna leave that. And we're gonna have slightly longer yeast here. Oh, you missed the last one. No worries. I'm retying guitar. Now, the last video I did, uh, I, I wasn't satisfied with it. So uh, I stripped the fly and uh, going to retie it. So I'm just preparing the yeast for the tail. I'm going with slight longer yeast here. I want it to be fairly visible. So let's see if they are too long or if it's okay. I'm just going to pair them up. I was thinking about something like this. So I think that I like it. So I'm going to tie that one in. And then surrounding that one, we're going to have a kingfisher. Yeah, so I'm going to prepare that as well. I'm going to tie them in one at a time. <laughs> Just removing the, the fluffy part on each side. There we go. <coughs> Let's first some wax to the thread. Then I just gonna Put them where I want them. There you go. I'm gonna do the same on your side. We just need to prepare that feather. <clears throat> Since this is a, a bit complicated pattern, I'm gonna tie quite slow. So it's gonna be a two part stream. I think I might do it in the second part tomorrow evening. Not sure, else I'll schedule it for, for next weekend. Just to make sure that everybody can look at it. So 
So there we go. So I'm just gonna align the yeast here. There we go, guys. So two tails, one pair of yeast here, one pair of kingfisher uh, in the tail. And of course, uh, the pattern description is in uh, the description of this video. Uh, I do it on all the videos, uh, unless I forget it. So, I'm gonna have ostrich hurl. And then silver tin cell. Let me see. Silver tin cell. Is it any tin cell on top of that? Must be. I will have a look. Sometimes the pattern descriptions are a bit weird. And somehow I think the Kelson pattern descriptions are all, always weird. I don't know why. So there we go. I think it turned out pretty nice. I'm just gonna have a quick uh, look at uh, Google uh, to see if it's gonna be oval silver tinsel, which of course I think it's gonna be, but uh, I don't see it really. Uh, so I'm just gonna have a look. Maybe it's just that uh, silver tinsel then. Could be. Yeah. Okay. Then we stated that one. So that means uh, I think one third gonna be silver tinsel. Something like this. So then I just want to build up the body with some material. It's going to be veiled in the anchor above and below. Okay, check. Oops, it's 
splitting. Something like that. They're just going to secure this one and cut it off. So I'm just flatten it. Then let's go with the silver tin cell. So I'm gonna go back and then forward again. I'm tying in the whole lot. Now where is? There we go. Securing that one. <clears throat> so, next step gonna be uh, to add uh, Indian Crow and I'm using substitute uh, from uh, David Kerr really nice ones so you're just gonna prepare the feathers <coughs> Sorry. So it's going to be one pair on the top and one pair on the bottom. That's the first pair. So I was going to wet it a little bit. There we go. 
and then I'm going to prepare the second pair. Then just cut the leftovers there. There we go. So, almost ready to tie in the next pair. I'm just gonna see if they are the similar length. Yeah, almost just a little bit on this side. So just so yeah, gonna turn everything around. Just gonna cut a little bit more on this one. There we go. Now I'm satisfied. And there we go. So I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit. Now it looks okay. <clears throat> so next step in the process is gonna be ostrich herd. And a bit of more wax to the thread, of course. Hi, Gary. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Uh, it's not a simple pattern to tie at all. But when, when you succeed, uh, which I have not so far, that's why I tie it again. Uh, it's just beautiful. Oh, it's turning the wrong way, not as I want. So let me have a look. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, the last one I tied, uh, the tippet started to move after a few weeks. Uh, and then it's not looking good anymore. So so I stripped that one and uh, now I'm tying a new one. Hopefully it's going to be better.
So here we're gonna attach a lot of things. It's gonna be oval silver tin cell, it's gonna be gold tin cell, uh, it's gonna be a black hackle. And then we're going to even out the body. <clears throat> now, I want it to be more on the other side. So just tying these ones in and I move it around the back to keep it out of the way, adding some backs. And as you may notice, I didn't do the third insert because front is going to be eaten off um, the front tackle. So that's why it doesn't look like a third now, but it will later. And I double the hackle. I will, uh, almost always do that. Uh, I think it's easier to tie in then. It looks nicer around uh, the body. There we go. So, even out the body, I'm going to use some gold uh, silk thread. The reason for the gold color is then uh, I will see through using the black silk later so I don't miss any coverage So just even out the body so it looks good when wrapping the black silk. There we go. <clears throat> I 
take quite quite a lot because this one is quite thin. Uh, and I want to make sure to cover it properly. Just untwisting the silk. It's uh, twisted on these spools. Now it lays nice and flat. And here's a good example why I go front to back and then back to front. Because if you look carefully, you see here that you still can see the golden silk below. But now it should disappear. Does. I'm just going to add a turn or two and then just turn it over and look. Yes, it's completely covered. Then I start with the flat tinsel. I think I need to have a bit tighter wraps. <clears throat> then it's time for the gold tinsel. So I'm gonna follow the silver tinsel. Just gonna have a look. How it sits better. I 
and then we have the cockhackle. So just make sure it goes just behind the golden, the gold oval tinsel. Then I just gonna use a bit of the rest in the front. And I'm gonna do a twist on this one. <clears throat> I didn't find a really nice green parrot. I, I do have a lot of green feathers though. But it will be, I don't think they will look good. So I'm going to try to use a green but a hen feather. Because I really want it to pop. I want to have some contrast. So let me show you. Uh, I turned that away already. Yeah. So I'm going to use this one. And just have a have a look and see how it how it goes. And you can see the two tails, the geese, the kingfisher. Just going to adjust this one. There we go. I might set the parrot today, the, the blue Macau. We can give it a try and see how it's uh, working out. Else, um, if I have a struggle with it, which I <laughs> think I will, then uh, I save it for the next part. Now the hackle will have a nice length and will, will look good to the size of the hook. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm tying on a 5 long shank that I tied almost all the Trahern patterns with. There we go. Just cutting off the stem here. <clears throat> so what I do, I just make like a, a V. I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Like that. So a passage for the wing to cross through the hackle. <coughs> I don't pull down the rest. I want it to be a balanced fly. So 
So there we go. Bit of wax. And then I just add a bit of thread. And then some more wax. So let's give the wing a try. Just one go. You guys know what I think about parrot feathers. Let me, I need to add some, some force into it. Oh, not that bad for the first try. A stick with it. Just uh, thinking out loud here, because I have. Let's see if I can split this one. I prefer to hide it in between. Yeah, no, it's not going in between. Let me see if I can pull that one out on this side. But I think that was both. Yeah, it was. It's coming there. There we go. Now. Yeah, now we have it on both sides. Normally, I don't care, really care about that. If you're looking at the the old pattern description uh, on the pictures there, they haven't pulled uh, those things out. But yeah, now I had the opportunity. <coughs> it might be a bit short. To be honest, it could be like half a centimeter longer if I would be picky, but uh, I don't have any more feathers of, uh, of this kind. Uh, so I'm going to go with it. But I think uh, as a, a quick start, that can be uh, a good uh, time to... Uh, uh, split this video into two parts. Uh, sorry for that. It's Sunday, so uh, yeah, I, I want to do uh, 
um, spend a bit of time with the family as well. Uh, the weekend has gone. I did, uh, I'm not sure if you heard my joke. I read the joke this morning. It was r really, really fun. Do you know what's quicker than lightning? The weekend. <laughs> when I read it this morning, I was, uh, you know, laugh laughing out loud because, <laughs> you know, the weekend is like instant and then it's Monday again. So, guys, uh, yeah, that, that's basically it for today. We, we did a bit of tying. Uh, I'm going to continue. I'm going to schedule in advance uh, so uh, most of you guys can uh, watch it. I think uh, it's Saturday next weekend. I might do different videos throughout the week and if I, uh, the week, sorry, if I have the time. Uh, but I will not do anything else until the next part two of this uh, lovely Gitana. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a nice uh, Sunday and uh, see you later. Bye.